Well, hello and welcome to this, our third uh, Thought for the Day this week. And this week we're looking at uh, part of Paul's letter to the Philippians, uh, chapter 2, uh, verses 5 to 11. Uh, we've had two days, we've looked at the beginning of that, uh, and we're now going to look at verse 9. But I'll read from verse 6 uh, so we get the context of what's being said. Talking of the Lord Jesus, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of the servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place, and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow. I mean, particularly this morning we're looking at verse 9. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. Jesus uh, chose to take the lowest place. He became a man and then chose to die and then die on a cross. Uh, but after having died on a cross, God raised him from the dead and exalted him to heaven and gave him the highest place. The highest place above all other powers, the greatest name above all other names. And that means that Jesus is not just a man or just a good man or just a prophet. He's not just a divine being, yeah, like an angel or, or some sort of senior uh, divine being. He actually is above every name, of every power, above every earthly power and above every heavenly power, uh, along and under his Father. He has the highest place. And that means if we're with Jesus, we're in a place of great safety. That if Jesus is the one who rules over all and we're with Jesus, well, there's no better place we could be. It gives us eternal and comfort and, and comfort for now too. It gives us eternal comfort because it means that if we're Jesus people and Jesus rules over all, uh, then no one can take us away from Jesus. No earthly power, no heavenly power can take us away from Jesus if he is the one who is in the highest place. And it gives us comfort now because often life might be difficult now, it might be painful, there might be all sorts of things that could go wrong in the here and now. But if we're trusting in Jesus, we know that we are with the one who rules over all, who will take us to be with him forever. It means that we can trust him uh, to take us through even the most dark days now and that he rules and nothing that happens to us will be outside his control. We can entrust him for today and we can trust him for eternity. It also means if Jesus is in charge, if he's got the highest name, we should praise him and live for him. And we'll think more about that tomorrow. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. Let's pray for a moment, shall we? Father God, we thank you that Jesus willingly took the lowest place. And Lord, we thank you that you raised him to the highest place and gave him the name that's above every name. Lord, we thank you that that means if we're with Jesus, if we're Jesus' people, we're in a position of great security, that we know that no one and nothing can take us away from Jesus. So Lord, we pray that we'll trust him for today and trust him for eternity. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.